the mission for today was simply just to get some food in me and some water in me. Um, last night was a shock to me. Uh, headache got real, real bad. Um, kept me up pretty much most of the night. I tried to like drink as much water as possible. So I was getting up every two seconds to go to the toilet as well. Um, so very, very crappy sleep. I ended up getting up at four o'clock in the morning. I just couldn't bear lie down anymore. I had to kind of, I felt more comfortable st- uh, sitting up. So I just try to watch some TV, try to go, you know, watch some YouTube, um, watch some videos to kind of keep my mind away from the discomfort, I guess. Um, and then this morning, went back to sleep. I think it was around eight o'clock, slept to about 12 o'clock. And then I got up and I was hungry as hell. So I had this leftover barbecue from yesterday. Um, whole bunch of meat it was basically just meat and, and some onion rings i think that's all that was and, and then ivar as well which is like this yugoslav uh, sauce i guess if you will um so i try to get you know some good food in no appetite i mean for me i'm one of those guys that you know a lot of you guys are probably going to hate hearing this but if i stop training if i stop working out i'll literally just waste away um, for me training is my appetite if i don't train my appetite goes away. And obviously, if I get sick as well, my appetite goes away. And I know a lot of other people, like, they need to train to keep the weight off. So I'm, like, completely reversed. Like, literally, my body just goes, well, we're not, we're not, we don't have a requirement for any more calories, so there's no point, um, you know, developing an appetite. So I don't, I don't eat. Um, but anyway, I try to force, my, force um, this plate of food down. Uh, that was probably the biggest meal of the day that I had. And then after that, I was just kind of eating bits and pieces where I could, uh, basically no appetite at all. Um, so, you know, feeling shit, feeling crap, feeling sorry for myself all day. Um, but, you know, when you, when you zoom out and you look at the big picture of everything, you realize that, you know, what are we talking about? Um, when I woke up um, yesterday, I was feeling crap. Uh, I watched a documentary on Netflix. Um, it was, I forget the name. I think it was, it's called The Last of Us or something like this. It's basically... A story of a, of a few families, a few ladies, um, a few people that kind of were got caught up in Auschwitz uh, during the whole Nazi Germany, um, World War Two, and how the Jews were treated. Um, I know I, there was a question posed to me um, uh, probably a few months ago now. A fellow was asking me on the Q and A, um, you know, what would you recommend somebody? who doesn't have the experiences of me and where I've come from, Yugoslavia, and, and you know, becoming a refugee and all, all, all that, what would you recommend for somebody that doesn't have some of these harsh experiences from emergency nursing as well? Uh, you know, what would you recommend for somebody to kind of get some sort of bearing, uh, get a, develop a better outlook to life and just put everything into perspective? And, uh, and the way I answered that question was to, to look at history. Uh, look at history. If, you, if, you're, if you're going through some tough times, if you're kind of getting down on yourself and you, you're wondering you know, where you're supposed to go or, or, or if you're feeling kind of sad about wherever you are, man, uh, my, my go-to stuff is always to look at history. Um, World War One, World War Two is, is one of my favorite kind of to kind of, uh, you know, look into. There's many documentaries, you know, you can look it up on YouTube. When you see proper hardship, when you when you see proper suffering, um, it basically belittles, belittles what you're, what you're, you're going through yourself. Um, you know, I'm going through some sort of viral thing with my sinuses and headaches and whatever and it's bad it's a headache whatever but this is nothing to what what people in our history have suffered uh so that's what i told this fella if you if you don't have i guess the misfortune to actually go through hardship yourself in your life and you know that's better not to actually go through those things um but i think education looking at history and looking at parts of our times uh you know, in history where people actually suffered immensely. And that puts everything into perspective. That's that bird's eye view that kind of puts everything into a scale. And you realize that whatever you're going through now is just a temporary nothing. Uh, and you'll get back on on your in your merry way very, very soon. So it's one of my go-to things that I like to do when I'm, when I'm sick, when I'm going through a tough time or whatever. I just kind of literally look up documentaries um, of people who have actually gone through proper hard times, not this crap. Um... But, you know, I also have examples every single day that I go to work. You know, you meet people of all sorts of unfortunate circumstances. In fact, one of the guys, one of the first few cases that kind of caught my eye uh, when I got back to work after this uh, three-week annual leave period um, was a fellow with cancer, a terminal cancer at 41. He'd come into emergency in a terminal state. 
um, in and out of consciousness, kind of like very, very vague. His skin was completely yellow. He had bowel cancer that spread to the liver and pancreas and went everywhere, spots to, to the lung. So his, he was kind of already, um, you know, under the palliative care team. And, you know, at 41, it's, it's very, very hard to look at somebody like that um, going through that phase uh, so young. So certainly when I when I have these moments where I'm kind of feeling sorry for myself and I'm like, God damn, like another another week wasted or, or, or uh, you know, I wish I could push through and do things and, and, and get closer to my goal. You know, my brain kind of is just able to recall a lot of these, you know, patients that I've come across or, or a lot of these things that I've kind of learned in my 32 years of freaking life to just basically ground me back down again Um you know, I mean, there's wherever you look, you you can find hardship. And just look at what's happening in Afghanistan right now. Like it's just heartbreaking what people are going through. So I think it's always valuable to zoom out, zoom out, and actually look at what's happening in the world. I know a lot of us who are, you know, focused on on getting these goals in the gym and all that. Like we're very focused, and it's kind of like nose down, ass up, kind of just work hard, work hard. But I think when you have a chance, when you when you can't work really hard. To kind of pick your head up and look at the surroundings and look where you are. I think it's very, very beneficial for your psyche, for your mental health to kind of realize, you know, I know I'm kind of going towards something that's hard to get, but let's be real, man. I'm very, very lucky in life. I'm very, very lucky where I am. Um, I'm actually quite blessed. So uh, that's kind of what I said to the fellow in the Q&A. And this is what I kind of use myself as well, even though my upbringing, you know, coming to Australia when I was nine years old, going through a lot, a lot of hardship. Um, back in Yugoslavia, uh, you know, the civil war, lots of you know family lost. Um, you know, coming to to a new country and, and settling in, all of that. Like, there's a lot of lessons to be learned there. But you know, I've, I've been in Australia now for like freaking twenty years, and you know, even for myself with that kind of background, I can lose track of some of my roots, if you will, because I'm so focused on what I'm on, on the future. I think it's very, very beneficial to stop and look back and look at where you've come from and then all of a sudden you start to feel good about yourself and where you are and all that so it's just kind of like a cascade of thoughts that i kind of have myself run through when i when i get into these sort of ruts where i'm like feeling crappy and sorry for myself and frustrated or whatever guys what you're seeing there with the with the stretch is me basically trying to stretch my hip flexor um as i said like today's been a crappy day i can't do any work so i decided to stretch so Hook your leg up underneath the, the bench there and put the other one ahead and you really feel this, the, the, the rectus femoris, the, the psoas, I guess, all the hip flexors fire up. Um, so even though I'm feeling sorry for myself, I can't do a lot of good work, you can still kind of do something. You know, you can f- focus on your on your diet, focus on the water that, you, that you're having, uh, focus on some rest and you can do these stretches which are not really taxing your body. Um, it's not really holding you back from recovery. Anyway, guys, that's what's on my mind tonight. Um... I uh, hope I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a better better workout and a more productive day. All right, guys. Catch you next one. Peace out.